Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture we're going to look at how to sketch some curves. So we've learned so far now that the derivative can help us figure out where a function is increasing or decreasing. It can also help us locate local extrema. We can find global extrema. We can use the second derivative to find where the function is concave up or concave down. So we're going to put all of this together now and help us sketch some graphs of some functions. So let's summarize all the things we know. So when we want to sketch the graph of a function, it's useful to start with what is the domain of the function, and then perhaps find some points that we know live on the graph. And the easiest ones to find are generally the x and y intercepts. So we'll search for those next. If we can exploit any symmetry that the function has, then that's really helpful because it means we only have to sketch the graph for a portion of, it, uh, of the domain, and then we can extend it by its symmetry to the rest of the domain. So if we can find any odd, even, or periodic symmetries, then that's helpful as well. Not necessary, but it is helpful. We can go ahead and find some asymptotes. We'll look at the horizontal asymptotes. Now these are the, this is the end behavior of the function, so we're going to look at the limit as x goes to infinity or negative infinity and see what's going on at the ends. Uh, and if the function tends towards a particular number, then we know that we have a horizontal asymptote. Uh, we can also look for some vertical asymptotes, see if we have those. So here's all the different ways that vertical asymptote can show itself. We can have a vertical asymptote occurs at x equals a, if as you head towards a from the right, the function blows up to infinity, or as you head to a from the right, it goes down to negative infinity, and similarly if you head to a from the left. Now one kind of asymptote we haven't talked about so far is a slant asymptote, and we'll see an example of this in a little bit, but the point here is, is that Perhaps the function's not heading towards a particular number as you head off to either negative infinity or positive infinity. Maybe as you head off towards positive infinity, it's blowing up. Well, can we say a little bit more about how it's blowing up? Maybe it's approaching a line. Maybe it's getting closer and closer to a line. And in which case, we'll call that a slant asymptote. And we'll see a little bit more about that when we get to that point. Then we can use the first derivative to figure out the intervals of increase and decrease. Uh, just remember that if the derivative is positive, then this means the function is increasing on that interval. If the derivative is negative on the interval, then it's decreasing on that interval. Then we can go ahead and find our um, local max and local mins using our first and second derivative test. So we're putting everything we've learned all together here. Uh, concavity, we can figure out where the function is concave up and concave down by looking at the sign of the second derivative. And if there's a change in sign of the second derivative, then we can locate any points of inflection. Taking all that information we've then just worked out, we can go ahead and sketch the curve. So let's go ahead and do an example 